you're not going to believe what people are saying this groom did on his wedding day. Ooh. Take a look. A New Jersey groom is facing charges of assault, indecent exposure, and disorderly conduct after reports that he sexually assaulted a teenage waitress at his wedding reception. According to reports, the groom asked her if she wanted to go outside and make out. The waitress claimed he also told her they could do, quote, whatever you want. After the waitress rejected him, the groom allegedly followed her into the woman's bathroom where he assaulted and exposed himself to her. Then he even offered her $100 for a kiss. Police were called after he got violent because he couldn't bring alcohol outside the venue. Some grooms are known to have cold feet, but did this groom have a cold heart? Woo, that's cold, that's cold. <laughs> True team, what do you think of this cold-hearted groom? Well, obviously alcohol was involved, it sounds <laughs> like. And, you know, alcohol does disinhibit you, but alcohol does not make you a jerk. <laughs> so this groom's just a jerk. I mean, he was openly punching and hitting people and the police were called. And when the police showed up, he started to call the police derogatory names. Oh, so he really wow. didn't stop just at this girl. He really just went all out. He was going out with a bang. Dr. Judy, do you think that maybe he was drinking and just had an episode or something? <laughs> well. Don't give him I, a pass. I don't think that the oh, drinking. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm trying right. to figure out how cold and why his well, heart was so cold. Right. Like who, right. who exchanges vows with someone and yeah. then no, I think five that's... seconds later, like, yeah, girl, what's up? Right. But he's no, kind I think of that's already that's... been that I think kind that that's who he because... was. I think yeah. that that's actually who he was. He probably has done other things before, and like his wife this. just didn't know about it. But or alcohol... she gave him a pass. But alcohol does disinhibit you, yeah. and so sometimes you think you want to do something, but when you're sober, you just don't do it when you know it's not a good idea. And he probably drank so much that he was just acting out, but still he's acting out from a place of intention, yeah. okay. which means that he still had those intentions. Place to begin of familiarity, with. because a lot of people get. Drunk the girlfriend. I mean, come on, she had the no, wife, or the wife, yeah, yeah, she had no reason to believe that he was a little different way back before she said, I do. Uh, I'm I sure mean, this wasn't the yeah. first time that, that he, yeah. You know, I, it's very rare that I would think something like this would happen. I, make sure, nowhere. first thing you do, everybody at that reception, get your money back because this wedding is going to be annulled. Uh, yeah. If yeah. I was there, I would take my gift back. From the gift <laughs> table. See ya. I'm okay. going back home now. Wow. <laughs> but what kind of episode is that, Dr. Judy? Like, is that just. A blackout a reality drunk. show. I think that I think that he probably has some kind of alcohol abuse problem. Okay. Yeah. And he's probably been violent before, especially when he's drinking alcohol. Yeah. And he just thought, this is my wedding. Woo! And he just drank even more than usual. And mm. that's why it got as bad as it did. But I believe that she knew something. Mm. There's no to. way that she's never seen this behavior from before. That it's would like, not be the shocker. first episode of that kind of conduct. I don't think yes. so. It's too extreme. So. Sounds like yeah. he needs to go to treatment. He needs to yeah. come here and face the truth. Bring yeah. him up. Woo! Bring Come him on up. through here and face the truth, because we know your story.